everybody, my name is Shomiki and welcome back to another BeamNG Paid Mods review. Today we are here with brand new GLS class from Mercedes-Benz and it was made by Kenemation Mods, Kenemation Mods. On the first look this mod looks very nice. The model looks realistic with high quality textures, indicators are working perfectly, there is nothing wrong or something seems to be not positioned correctly so i suggest it's time to get myself a med monk that's a partner of the channel let me get one real quick go check out the link in the description you guys need this if you wanna exchange your energy drinks for something healthy and something that will give you your at least six hours boost for the focus memory and uh, creativity so if you're a content creator youtuber streamer if you are i don't know student if you just need to focus more on your work this is the great uh, product that i've been i've been using it for the last two years and i started working with them recently from my personal experience it's 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 just working very well so be sure to check out the link in the, descrip in the description by buying the product you will also support me so if you want to help me continue making these paid mods videos go try it all right everybody so i hope you saw that we have kind of very nice looking interior right here so let's uh, let's open it um, just a quick control if there are, aren't any special buttons for the vehicle but there are not so let me open it um here we have very very nice looking interior with all the buttons all the leather from Mercedes, all the ambient lightning, all of the ambient lightning is working perfectly even on the speakers, wow, on the doors. I didn't know it's there as well. I thought it's more here than here, but I believe in GLS class it's, it's right here. Oh yeah, it's not even, uh, it's not even, it's not even coded here. So we are not able to check the engine yet, but we can check the trunk and Look at look at this living room like right here. It's it's so massive. Wow. Will help us get some. Oh yeah, here we go. So now we can see the light. It's showing us all the space we have here. Also the textures here are also in pretty good quality. So on this mod I can I can say it's very nice quality. Well, at least it looks like with all of the textures and all of the design and um, all the interior stuff, but can it drive well? Does it crash good? That's the questions I'm here to answer you guys. So hit the like button and we are heading straight for the suspension test because that's all that's what everyone loves to watch, I guess. So we can see the suspension is handling very great all of these bumps. I'm very surprised the rear is not jumping like with S-Class we we tested recently. So if you guys didn't see the S-Class, you can just visit my channel and check it out. Or just check out the pinned comment in the description. But now the front is jumping. Oh, uh, I, read, I, I read some comments and I saw that uh, you guys want me to show more or just go more into the configurations. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to show them all this time. And I'm gonna open the car menu right now, just one second, because I wanted to see how the stress testing will go, but it went very well, nothing nothing in the, uh, broke on the car, so uh, the suspension is very well made. So great job, Kenemation, or Kene, Kene, Kenny, I don't know how to, how to call you, like, in a friendly way. So here we go, here is the GLS class, and we have all of these configurations here, the Russian police, uh, then we have GLS 63, uh, GLS 580, that's what we have spawned currently. And then we have a Maybag. So let me check the Maybag because that's probably the most interesting configurations for everybody. Uh, so let's test, let's test suspension of the Maybag because the Maybag should, you know, had way better suspension, right? Uh, but I think I should put it in the com back to comfort or just the normal uh, mode. The traction is not allowing us to floor the gas pedal, but wow, 
I mean, the suspension is just perfect on this vehicle. There is nothing wrong I can say about it. And let me show you the amazing Maybach interior on this car. Look at it. Look at look. All is custom customized. Even the Maybach logos everywhere here and here, here and there. Also, on you have TVs. You have this. You have this very beautiful leather here. Uh, it's kind of orange with white. Uh, and we have oh pillows and just like in Maybach, like typical equipment for Maybach. But I'm very happy. It's uh, it's in this quality that we can enjoy the Maybach experience in BMNG at least until we all made it and we will be successful enough to buy one for yours for ourselves in real life hold on hold on hold. This, this car has air suspension oh my god it does look at it we just lowered the car and let's put it in the maximum height I didn't know that actually Wow, but it's going up and up. Wow, so this is the maximum height for GLS. I mean, that's epic. I didn't know we can... I didn't actually know there is an air suspension working. It, uh, it's the same as on S-Class, but wow. So let me uh, check the interior a bit more so I can be sure I didn't miss any button that is working here, like the, the sunroof or something. But it doesn't seem to be working for now at least i hope it will be fixed in the upcoming updates for the mod but look at the maybach quality we have maybach logos everywhere even on the pedals wow i'm surprised also on the this is kind of a controller for the infotainment but look i mean this is the mod that you wanna buy literally i mean just look at it uh, if you just if you are ready to buy it, go just visit the link in the description. You have the mod in the uh, link for the mod in the description, of course. And uh, let me close the doors. All right, I believe it's time for the crash testing. So I'm gonna spawn another configuration because, uh, as I promised, I'm gonna show you all of the configurations here. Uh, can we also change your height? Oh yeah, we so the air suspension is working on every single one of these, even on the AMG Maybach. Uh, there is a standard black interior right here, uh, nothing crazy as in a Maybach. But hey, it's AMG. I also heard uh, about GLS uh, AMG vehicles that they are pretty bad quality in real life, I mean. That everywhere are a lot of plastic things and for the price you pay for the car it's very... Um, it's not just worth the money. The S class, typically the standard S class, is way better than the GLS class. But uh, well, if you guys know someone with GLS class, just let me know if it's that bad in real life, because I only know it from one person that uh, recently purchased the brand new one, the after facelift, the I mean the facelift one, the facelift version, and he was very disappointed about it. So uh, yeah. And he he um, he actually ordered the highest equipment you can get into it. So he configured the car to the top level with AMG engine and, and spec. Yeah. So, all right, it's time for a crash test. So um, let me just go straight for that wall ahead and uh, see the result from from 50 miles per hour crash. Bam. All right, here we go. So we have some rear fender rear bumper venting here uh, i don't think this is supposed to be happening but never mind but otherwise um the doors move logically from the impact like this the whole body will just be destroyed i'm very happy the sunroof if, if is destroying again is breaking because uh yeah, there are some mods where the glass on the roof is just like, I don't know, a part of the car and it's not breaking <laughs> for some reason. Uh, so yeah, we have some nice damage. There are not really some bad spikes. Um, even the front front uh, grill looks to be damaged, but I don't know, it's stuck in the body 
of the car but yeah uh, i think it's time to make some side impact so let me spawn another gls class because you need to crash with gls class uh gls class and let's take uh for example i don't know m maybe the standard diesel one 300 350d so let's go let's do 45 45 miles per hour it was uh, as i was able to see uh, now i can see on the diesel version some spikes uh, on the body here we have some decent damage uh, there is nothing wrong actually about it we will check the jamin's jbeam soon uh, um, but overall it's 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 good there is nothing like wrong about crashing the vehicle so the main point for bmg mod is uh, successfully uh, tested and uh, so let's do the rear end crash and let's uh, put the gls let's park it park it up like this and let's say this is a drunk woman coming home from party and now she hit your gls amg and uh yeah your car bro uh, i mean sorry but yeah your tire is flat now your doors can't close anymore yeah they, they are done and your trunk is kind of um <clears throat> the half, half size as it was before <laughs> but never mind so uh, the damage is solid uh, there is nothing wrong with it uh, now we can see some polygons maybe here so i have one more idea and it's uh, take the gls amg to the top speed three two one go all right this was around four seconds zero to 60 or zero to 100 for european viewers and let's do the top speed test what is your suggestion write it in the comments or what is your tip for the top speed mine is around i don't know 180 oh there is a speed limit around 155 well so now we can stop the car because we can reach higher speeds than 155 55 miles per hour this car is fully prepared for a drive but can it drive at night because the night uh, is mostly problem for most of the mods because the lights are working strangely uh yeah this is very very tiny uh light tunnel i mean it's not wide at all all right everybody so this is all for the test for the gls from canimation mods let's try this and uh yeah i hope you liked the video if you did please hit the like button and if you have any suggestion for the mods um just let me know in the comments and uh, also suggest me what should i improve or what i didn't show in the mod uh, or in the video with this mod and i will make sure to improve it for the next video so i see you in the next one thanks for watching